Director James Cameron just spilled the beans about writing a script for Terminator 7, and here's the lowdown on this long-awaited sequel to the iconic sci-fi franchise. It all started in 1984 with Cameron's mega-hit The Terminator, where a killer cyborg from the future targets Sarah Connor to prevent the birth of humanity's savior. The 80s classic was a smash hit, paving the way for an even bigger sequel in the 90s, turning the franchise into a cinematic powerhouse. But despite its early success, the Terminator saga hit a rough patch with one disappointing sequel after another. Despite multiple attempts to reinvent the series, like in the 2019 flop Terminator Dark Fate, nothing seemed to click. While other franchises kept churning out sequels, Terminator remained dormant, even with Arnold Schwarzenegger waving goodbye to the series. But hold on to your hats, because James Cameron, the mastermind behind the original film, just dropped some exciting news about Terminator 7. While James Cameron is still tinkering away with the script, the latest buzz surrounding Terminator 7 revolves around Linda Hamilton's announcement that she's hanging up her boots on the franchise. Having first brought Sarah Connor to life four decades ago in The Terminator, Hamilton reprised her iconic role in Terminator 2 Judgment Day and 2019's Terminator Dark Fate. But now she's made it crystal clear, saying, I'm done, I have nothing more to say, the story's been told, when asked about a potential return. With Hamilton out of the picture for Terminator 7 and Arnold Schwarzenegger also swearing off future sequels, the franchise faces a peculiar challenge. The draw of familiar faces has been crucial for the series, and past sequels like Terminator Salvation stumbled because they lacked these beloved characters. It's uncertain who Cameron has in mind for the new installment, but it's unlikely to include Sarah Connor. While Cameron seems eager to revive Terminator for the silver screen, the project is far from a sure thing. Terminator 7 remains unconfirmed, with Cameron indicating that it's still in the early script phase and may not progress further. The tangled web of rights surrounding the franchise adds another layer of complexity as Cameron isn't the sole decision maker for Terminator 7. Edward Furlong, who famously portrayed John Connor in Terminator 2 Judgment Day, had an intriguing reaction to the opening sequence of Terminator Dark Fate, and it sheds light on the challenges Terminator 7 may face in reviving the franchise. Over the years, various actors have stepped into the role of John Connor at different points in his life across the Terminator movies. However, Furlong's portrayal in T2 remains the most iconic, thanks to the film's enduring popularity and the poignant bond between John and his reformed T-800 companion. Since T2, none of the subsequent Terminator films have managed to capture the magic of the 1991 classic. In an attempt to shake things up, Terminator Dark Fate shocked audiences by dispatching John Connor in the opening minutes of the film, using a blend of performances, including Furlong's motion capture work. Reflecting on his experience during an episode of the Inside of You with Michael Rosenbaum podcast, Furlong admitted he initially struggled to grasp how they were going to handle T2's beloved John Connor. I didn't understand, like, how the hell are they going to do that? I don't know, it just felt a little bit like the whatever happened to baby Jane situation. Furlong's candid reaction underscores the difficulty Terminator 7 may encounter in recapturing the essence of the franchise. T2's portrayal of John Connor and the dynamic between him and the T-800 set a high bar that subsequent films have struggled to meet. Reinvigorating the series without a clear path forward for such a pivotal character presents a formidable challenge for any future Terminator installment. Terminator Dark Fate's decision to kill off John Connor was meant to be a bold move, intended to shake up the franchise and set the new installment apart from its predecessors. Unfortunately, this risky choice didn't quite hit the mark. The opening sequence, where John meets his demise, lacks the emotional punch it was aiming for. Instead, it feels hollow and disconnected, especially with the slightly eerie recreation of T2's John Connor using VFX. While the idea of revisiting such an iconic character with the help of visual effects had potential, Dark Fate ultimately squandered it. By eliminating John Connor early on, Terminator Dark Fate attempted to erase the events of the previous sequels, 
offering a fresh start for the franchise. In theory, this move would raise the stakes and emphasize the unpredictability of the story. However, in practice, it cheapened the significance of John's character. As one of the franchise's central figures, John deserved better than to be reduced to a mere plot device. While previous Terminator installments have used John in similar ways, his death in Dark Fate undermines the impact of Terminator 2 and renders its events meaningless in terms of continuity. That said, the Terminator franchise has been grappling with its identity ever since the groundbreaking success of Terminator 2. It's been over three decades since a Terminator movie has received universal acclaim, and each attempt to revive the franchise has fallen short. One significant factor contributing to this struggle is the absence of James Cameron, who hasn't directed another Terminator film since T2. But perhaps the most telling example of the franchise's struggle lies in the character of John Connor. For more than 30 years, Terminator movies have struggled to figure out what to do with John Connor, both as a character and as a plot device. In Terminator Rise of the Machines, we saw an adult version of John in a world seemingly free from Skynet's threat, a potentially intriguing premise that ultimately fell flat in a lackluster movie. Terminator Salvation had the opportunity to reinvent John by showcasing his role as the leader of the Rebellion, but it too was plagued by numerous issues, despite Christian Bale's star power. Now, with Terminator the Anime series on the horizon, there's hope for a fresh take on the franchise. But previous attempts, like Terminator Genesis, have only added to the confusion surrounding John Connor's character. Turning him into a villain controlled by Skynet in a misguided attempt at shock value not only backfired, but also undermined the credibility of the new timeline. And when John's twist was revealed in the trailers, it only compounded the disappointment. John Connor's death in Terminator Dark Fate was just one of the many missteps of the franchise's handling of Sarah Connor's son. Until the Terminator movies can find a clear direction for John's character, they'll continue to struggle to recapture the magic of the early films. Terminator 7 faces a tricky challenge when it comes to handling John Connor. Killing off the character, as seen in Terminator Dark Fate, is likely off the table given the reception to that decision. Yet ignoring John altogether isn't an option either, considering his pivotal role in the franchise's lore. John Connor has been a constant presence in almost every Terminator movie, whether in minor appearances or major roles. Any new installment, as long as it delves into the conflict between humans and machines, will need to acknowledge its significance. However, one recurring issue with Terminator movies has been their struggle to move beyond iconic characters like Arnold Schwarzenegger's T-800. Finding a balance between honoring the originals and exploring new territory will be Terminator 7's greatest challenge. One approach for Terminator 7 could be to introduce a completely fresh iteration of John Connor, unbound by the constraints of previous films. Whether set in the future or the present, this new version of the character could offer a fresh perspective, free from the baggage of past interpretations. This would prevent the repetition of mistakes seen in Dark Fate, which tampered with the legacy of the franchise's best film. Additionally, Terminator 7 must decide early on John Connor's role in the story. Will he be the central focus, or will the narrative revolve around new protagonists with John playing a supporting role? Even in the case of a reboot, the film could reimagine John Connor entirely, following the lead of successful franchise reboots like Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and Prey. These examples demonstrate that it's possible to breathe new life into a franchise while staying true to its core elements, offering hope that Terminator 7 can rejuvenate the series. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.